Hi everyone, it's that time again. Happy Easter holidays. And uh, we're gonna be making some hot cross buns. So this is the 2024 recipe, okay? So I hope you enjoy, I hope you made it last year, and I hope you're gonna make it again. So thanks again for joining the Lisa and Vibes on another journey with hot cross buns. We have here nine cups flour. Okay, I'm gonna put all my flour in and I'll just keep a little bit here. I'll keep a little reserve as I always do. My flour is too moist, okay? So that's nine cups flour and um, one cup brown sugar. We're gonna do this by hand today. One cup brown sugar, half cup white sugar, three teaspoons baking powder, dash of salt, just a dash of salt. Okay. Um, freshly grated nutmeg, I always tell you, freshly grated nutmeg, two teaspoons nutmeg, two teaspoons cinnamon. your journey with me trying new recipes and I hope you're gonna enjoy this one okay this bun I'm gonna be making with two eggs okay so that's coming up all right so we have all this all mixed up I'm gonna be using the yeast dry this time so I have two tablespoon yeast okay mix it all up so there you go you have all your dry ingredients. You have your flour, your sugar, your baking powder, your salt, nutmeg, cinnamon, allspice, your yeast. Okay. This is awesome. Now I'm gonna add here half cup butter shortening and um, half stick butter. Again. Danish cook that I'm using and I find it's very good when I'm making buns, powder buns. It works great. So let's mix this all up. You're gonna have to get your hands dirty on this one, okay? So just mix it all up. And at this point, let's see, we're gonna start adding our wet ingredients, okay? So we have it all together now. Put a well, you put a well in the middle. Okay, create like a little hole in the middle. Set this aside. And I'm gonna be adding milk is warm. Okay, make sure you use warm milk. And just keep mixing this. After adding half the milk mixture. In your milk mixture, once you pour out some out your container, you have two eggs beaten. Okay, that's two eggs. And then I have vanilla. So I'm using two teaspoons vanilla. Okay. Make sure you have your utensils nearby too, okay? Keep your utensils nearby. So, in here, you have your milk, eggs, and vanilla. And that's it. That's your liquid. So, you add your dry ingredients, and then your wet ingredients, and you just continue to mix this up. It's going to get a little messy, but patience is the key. So, 
gonna mix this all up together pull it all together like this generation to generation so just keep adding your milk mixture again warm milk okay keep putting the warm milk and bring it all together and then once it's all together Okay, because remember we put the egg. So because this recipe has two eggs, I think the liquid gonna be less, less liquid. Okay. Thanks again, everyone. Thanks again for keeping in tune with the lazy vibe and checking out my recipes. Look at this. Continue putting this together and then we're gonna continue kneading, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, look how beautiful my dough is almost ready. And in the meantime, what I did, you can add your raisins, okay? I put some already, I'm gonna add more raisins. And that's it. You have your flour, your sugar, baking powder, dash of salt, your spices. Okay. And this is it. See how easy? So you continue to knead your dough until you incorporate all the flour and your spices and your liquids together. Okay. And just continue. At this point in time, I'm going to set my dough in a bowl. Okay. I'm going to cover it up and let it raise. And there you go. Cut cross buns. Knead your dough for approximately five minutes or more, okay? And this is a good texture. Look at it. How beautiful. Okay. So, this is it. Add your raisins. That's optional. Okay. And we'll be right back after double in size or so. I'm going to set it near the stove in a warm place. So put it in a grease bowl. I put a little bit of butter, a little bit of sharpening, just to grease the bottom of your bowl. Take your dough, put it in there. Okay. You're gonna cover with a damp cloth. That's your kitchen towel, a thin kitchen towel. Okay. Wet your kitchen towel and you cover and you set by the stove for approximately 30 to 40 minutes or more. Okay? There you go. I'm gonna leave my dough to raise and we'll be right back. To continue making hot cross buns, I'm going to be putting it on the baking sheet once it's done, okay? Hi everyone! So, 
your dough out your container and kind of just fold it a little bit not much okay so I'm gonna start to cut in size of Kind of set them in some roll ball, you call it roll, and I kind of just pinch the bottom. Now remember to start leaving some dough aside for the frost, okay? So for each one, I'm gonna try to remove some dough, and that will be for the cross and the bun. And so just kind of fold it around in a ball. In the easy. Told you. So I'm gonna be putting the recipe on BelizeAndVibes.com. Putting the recipe on Facebook, Myrna Belizean Vibes. I'm putting it on my Facebook group page, Belizean Cuisine, Belizean Vibes. Okay. So again, this recipe, I changed it a little bit and I put two eggs and I think it's going to be delicious. Okay, some people use eggs, some don't. I've tried it before, I like it too. I like it both ways, but I just wanted to show you different options, okay? Okay, one, two, three, four. What you do now, you get your little container, okay, you get your container, you can add a little milk, if you have some milk, okay, and we're going to add the cross to each, that's it, I kind of tuck it under, okay, tuck it a little bit under. this for you and then get it on the baking sheet and show you how you're gonna get ready for it to have another um, raise for a minute for 30 minutes or so and then we're gonna bake at 350 degrees okay so we're gonna continue with putting the Raise 
again. your bun to be um, heavy, then you just have to let it lay a few minutes more, not much, okay? But if you like your bun light, fluffy, then you're gonna let it raise longer. But for this, nine buns ready to go i'm gonna set it in a warm place by the oven cover it again with a damp thin towel and let it set for about 30 minutes and then we gonna bake some hot cross buns so i'm gonna put this on top over there And there you go, another hot cross bun video for you. This is the 2024 recipe and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for joining and keep looking at my videos on BelizeanVibes.com on YouTube, Belizean Vibes Live. Thanks again for all your support. Enjoy your hot cross buns and be safe.